In question 56, we're given this diagram here and told that it's one of a plant cell. This diagram has a number of labels on it, indicating arrows showing movement from different regions within the cell or outside or inside of the cell. Each of these are labelled, and we're asked which of these labelled arrows represents the net movement of water molecules when the solution outside of the cell is more concentrated than that within the cytoplasm. So we can quickly show this schematically. After quickly describing osmosis being the net movement of water molecules from a region of high to low water potential, if we have two different solutions, our cytoplasm and our surrounding solution, one being more concentrated than the other, that will mean that there is a high water potential in the less concentrated cytoplasm than in the surrounding solution, since these water molecules here are less free to move, or rather here are less free to move owing to the concentration of solute. Okay, so we'll have net movement from region of high to low water potential. These water molecules can move more freely, and so we can know that 2 is automatically correct, since it's indicating movement from the cytoplasm to the surrounding solution. And now we also have to assess 3 and 4, which represent the internal vacuole as opposed to the surrounding cytoplasm. Well, we should know that if there is movement from the region of high to low water potential, there will eventually be a concentration change in this region here. Since there is a net movement, there will be a change in concentration. The cytoplasm will become increasingly concentrated relative to the vacuole, which previously was at equilibrium, we can imagine. So we can instead model the vacuole and the cytoplasm as again having a water potential gradient, so we can have movement from the now higher water potential vacuole into the more concentrated and therefore less water potential having cytoplasm. So again there will be water potential, a water potential gradient and movement down it. So 4 indicates this movement and 2 indicates the movement described earlier, so we can say our answer is that arrows 2 and 4 represent the movement of water, our answer is therefore F.